What is up guys? Welcome to part one of my ASO series where I share some of the best practices I've learned over the years in order to grow my indie game studio to almost 2 million downloads and over $500,000 in revenue without spending a single cent on marketing. In part one, we're going to be going over the importance of app icons and screenshots and why they are actually underrated in terms of the whole ASO equation. And I'm going to be sharing with you five best practices that you can use to uh, create awesome and high converting app icons and screenshots. So why is your app icon and screenshot so important in terms of ASO? Well, for one, it's the first impression a prospective user gets when they go into your app store page. It's also probably the biggest uh, factor in determining your conversion rate from impressions to installs. I always tell people the quickest and easiest way for you to increase your installs is by A-B testing your icon and screenshots. For example, if your current uh, set of screenshots and icons, um, they yield a conversion rate from impressions to installs of around 3%. If you can bump that up uh, to 6%, you've immediately doubled your installs without changing any keywords or doing anything like that. So yeah, that is the power of uh, screenshots and icons in determining your conversion rate. With all that said, here are five best practices you can use when designing your app icon and screenshots. So number one, when you are designing your app icon and screenshots, always take inspiration from the big players in your niche. For example, if you have a fitness app, uh, you would go to the app store and look at the top five uh, fitness apps and then you would kind of see a pattern of what uh, types of styles they're using for their screenshots and then I can almost guarantee you that they are spending a lot of resources A-B testing which ones offer the best conversion. So right there is a blueprint that you can use in your own app and uh, yeah, you can look at things like color schemes um, and layouts and, and things like that. Obviously don't copy them, but yeah, take inspiration, apply it to your own app and you are almost guaranteed that you will get a highly converting uh, set of screenshots and icon. Number two, you wanna focus on the first three uh, screenshots the most because when people are scrolling on the app store, that's what they're gonna see. They're gonna see the icon and the first three screenshots. So make sure that you capture their attention, make sure you put um, a lot of effort into those first three screenshots just so that they will simply tap on your App Store page and then obviously see the rest of your screenshots and descriptions and uh, ratings and that sort of thing. So yeah, the first three are the most important to get uh, the initial attention of that prospective user. Number three, always use social proof where you can in your screenshots. This is a great way to build trust. For example, if you were featured in some news article, you can always put that in your screenshots as seen in XYZ uh, news publication. Or if you're featured with Apple, uh, put that in your screenshots. Even small things like if you have uh, 100 five-star reviews or ratings, you can put that in your screenshots. All this goes a long way in uh, building trust with the prospective user and it's highly more likely that they will download the app when they see some sort of social proof. Number four, and this one is really important, uh, you want to limit the overuse of text in your screenshots. The reason why is because uh, real estate is limited on what you can display on these screenshots and obviously people, um, they register images a lot faster than they read text. So the average person spends only a few seconds on each app store page. So you want to convey what your app is about through images and uh, use short, bold and easy to read text. Um, but yeah, the images should uh, do, do most of the job of conveying to the person what your app is about. So the fifth and final tip I have for you guys is be very careful when using app preview videos. If they're done poorly, they can actually hurt your conversion rate. Um, I've seen this in my own games. Um, and if you, if you don't have the budget to make something of high production uh, value, then I would suggest uh, leaving the app preview, preview video out. And um, because if you look at the bigger studios with bigger budgets, um, they sort of have an element of curiosity in their app videos. Um, 
they show very little gameplay and it's mostly like a storyline and animations and cool effects and um, yeah with that curiosity it gets players to download the game to see more um, so if you don't have something like that uh, and it's not within your budget i would recommend staying away from preview uh, preview videos and just going with the screenshots so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you found some value. In the next part of the series, I'm gonna be sharing my strategy for finding high traffic, uh, low competition keywords that can uh, help drive up the impressions for your app on the App Store. So if you wanna uh, follow along, please subscribe. Like this video if you enjoy this type of content. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and peace out.